Hi, beautiful. If there's one thing people do a lot with box dye, it's color their damn hair black. Not brown, not blonde. Black. Even blue-black a lot of the time. Just like the darkest color they can possibly find. I don't know why. Like, true black hair looks gonna maybe point. 1% of the population. And I'm talking like black hair, like this shirt, black. Let's see what happens when these people color their hair with black box dye. Let's see if it maybe looks good, but it probably won't. Most definitely won't. No chance. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> Up first, we have a video by Kendra, not Kendra. Well, hello. I'm glad you guys could make it here. <laughs> Kendra. <clears throat> I don't know. Something about you right now is giving me like, I have zero confidence in my hair coloring skills. You haven't really said much yet, but I'm getting that vibe from you. I don't know why, but it feels like this isn't gonna end up well for you. I'm so sorry that I don't have more hope. I've just been scarred in the past. Also, your hair is very blonde and it says in the title that you're going black with box dye. I hate that because you just do not need all that ammonia. You don't need to do all that damage to your hair. That's just not very smart. <laughs> the last time I did anything to my hair was in March and I cut off about 18, 20 inches. You cut off 18 to 20 fucking inches? Was your hair down to your knees? How was your hair that long? This is my natural. Kind of a very boring, bland brown. When I had cut all my hair off and got a bunch of layers and dyed it, it was a very fiery orange, then faded into an auburny blonde. It's still a cute color, but I'm used to it, over it. We're over it, we're done with it, and now we're going black. I know they say once you go black, you never go back in the other aspects of life, but really when you go black, there's no going back when it comes to hair color. And I feel like that rhymes for a reason because we all know it's true. So, Kendra, why do I keep saying your name? I wanna keep saying your name for some reason because I can't get it right and I'm determined to say your name correctly but I'm gonna stop now. You can see where my roots are. But I've got all this highlighted color and I have absolutely nothing against my hair girl. Your hair is so so gorgeous. I love the ombre, the dark root. You have such nice fine but thick hair. It is so healthy and now we're just gonna absolutely pa, 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 demolish it. I know we are and that's too bad. <laughs> So we have the, it is the L'Oreal Paris. I don't know anything about hair and box dye and I know you're not supposed to use it. So it looks like it comes with all the stuff I need. I would say Maya is probably in one of these ranges. <laughs> I love how she just is winging it. Like no clue what she's doing. Absolutely no strategy. We are just doing something and we are gonna do our best, I'm sure. Is our best gonna be good enough? I don't think so. And that's okay. We're not all gonna be good at coloring hair. Also, when it comes to box dye, the truth is there are circumstances where you can use box dye and things will turn out fine. It's gonna still give you a great look for a great price. And I love that. In this circumstance, I don't think box dye is good for her hair. I know box dye is not good for her hair because she just doesn't need all of this power and strength she's gonna get from the box dye. It's just not a good idea. All right, so we mixed up the color and it is ready to go on that head. She did a nice job though. She read the directions. She really understands what she's supposed to do. But now the question is, can she actually execute it correctly? I'm gonna have to say no, she can't. <laughs> it might be smart to section. So I might, uh, hmm. Okay, we might do this. We're gonna do half and half, you know? Just make it a little easier. We are sectioning, so that's cool. Ooh. So yeah, we're just gonna get her on in there. I have a little brush and a mixing bowl. But unfortunately, we are starting with the top of the head, which is never a place that I like to start because if you start at the top of the head, all the hair underneath is much more difficult to color than it would have been if you started at the bottom and worked your way up. <laughs> and um, let me know how hard this was for any of you to watch, especially if you do your, if you do hair. I would say it's an eight out of 10 difficult. 10 being the most difficult to watch. It's not the most difficult, but it's definitely up there. Ooh. Just getting it all over the paper too. Okay, so the thing is with permanent color, putting permanent color over hair that's already blonde doesn't really make much sense because permanent color lifts your natural hair color and then deposits tone. We don't need the lifting because guess what? Your hair is already lifted. All we need is the depositing 
okay? So a dye-permanent color is the most optimal for this because it still puts all those color molecules inside the hair, but it doesn't lift. And we do not need more lifting power because lifting causes damage. I don't want that for you. See, I'm just gonna, I mean, I could always paint it, but I mean, oof, oof, girl, that is stench. I know the smell. Like it's burning her nostrils right now. The smell of box dye is burning. I don't know what they put in that shit that makes your nostrils literally set on fire, but I'm kind of here for it. Like it just kind of smells nice. It reminds me of just like childhood. Kind of looks like I just threw some caramel in my hair. So I'm just gonna. Brad Mondo, don't come for me. But if you do, give me some pointers. I'm here and I'm coming for you and I'm giving you some pointers. So, hope you're happy. Um, cause I'm not. I'm just kind of combing it through. Hoping I get the color in. Maybe I want to throw some in under here. Oh yeah, those roots look very untouched and uncolored. This is a very unprofessionally done hair. If you are hurting while watching this, I apologize. Okay, I don't know if I want to go with the other side yet. Oh, the worst part about this is I know she's not saturating every single hair strand. Like I know that there's hair in between that is going to be blonde still because we are just taking clumps and clumps of hair and we are just just putting that color right on the top and then just <laughs> the worst way of doing it. The best way of doing it would be to take like paper thin sections and really saturate each hair strand super nicely. Going like this, really making sure every single strand is hit. That is the best thing we can do or else we're gonna have spots of blonde everywhere, which I think is what's gonna happen to her. You wanna work on this side? She also just looks so good as a blonde. She really does. I think with her blue eyes and her light complexion, I think the blonde looks great. I would have also liked her in a light brown. Black, I just don't think it's her color, but we will see. We will see what happens. I really like that method. You just put it in my hands and... See, whereas you really like that method, I really hate that method. I would rather see you do any other method rather than just right on the top, ba 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 ba. Worst idea possible, don't do it like that. My eyes are burning. I can tell we are just getting lazier and lazier and lazier the more we do this color. I don't know if that's supposed to happen, mm, yeah. Hmm. Oh, great, now our hair is falling off too. Okay, <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> You guys get the full effect of me crying now because I have no Botox right now, so you get full eyebrow movement. I honestly don't think I have the patience to scent and part all of my hair out. That is very evident. And we successfully got the color on our face. There would not be a box dye video without people getting color all over their face. It just wouldn't be a box dye video. Actually, it wouldn't be any video on YouTube of people coloring their hair if they didn't get it all over their face. Like, I'm starting to think we just do it on purpose. I don't know. I don't know how you guys do it like that. Just get it all, all over the face. When I cut all my hair off, I actually also shaved that little piece. And so I'm worried I've not gotten any color on that. Let's see how that looks. Those ends look so f dry. <laughs> like put some damn color on the hair. We need to fully saturate, especially when we're coloring blonde hair. We need to get so much color on there. That blonde hair will suck up everything in its sight. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if I just keep going, you know? I don't wanna miss any spots. Mmm, hey. Oh yeah, work it, work it, work it. Yo, that color is about to stain your entire face. Please get it off. So I'm gonna wait 25 minutes and you know how to suck it. Hi. Yo, that was so fun. Scary. Don't ever do that again. I'm so, I, that was horrifying. This time we are sitting next to my tub because my sink was a tad bit small for me to really get in there and wash it out, you know? Okay, so we processed the hair for 25 minutes and now we're rinsing it out. Slightly excited to see the results. I feel like they're not gonna be as dark as the box indicated, which is good. So what do we think? Yes, it's still wet, so we don't know the full, you know, Wait a damn minute. Listen, I've been wrong before, but I might be very wrong today because it looks good so far. Like the really dark color looks really good on her. Let's see what, 
it looks like dry. You guys didn't really think that I was gonna make you come along with me for that whole hair dyeing journey and not show you the finished dry result, now did you? Here it is the next day. I did not style or curl or do anything with it. This is just air dry. My natural hair, which is very flat and straight, felt like it's been through enough damage in the last 24 hours. Here she is. Okay, 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 okay. It looks really good. I mean, it's a whole different look, but I really like the dark hair on her. I'm shocked at how much I like it. It looks really nice and really rich and really brings out her eye color. Great job. I don't know anymore. I don't know what to even say because nothing went right, but everything went right. So good job. I don't know. Up next, we have a video by Taylor Riley. I really, really miss my dark hair. Um, and I got Garnier Intense Blue Black. I like this decision. I think the blue is fun. I would have liked her whole head blue, but that's just my my opinion. Instead of just the front kind of being like multicolored blue. I don't know. She's now gonna put black box dye over everything. I think that's really interesting. We should be putting box dye over pre-lightened hair, especially not pre-lightened hair that is currently blue. The opposite of blue is orange. So if we really wanna cancel this out and create a rich black color, we wanna put a very, very, very warm black tone on her hair. We could even fill the hair with orange before we then go in. Wait, the black color. But this is just gonna further damage your hair for no reason. So, kinda dumb, but man, whatever. If some of this ends up coming through, it'll like make sense. Cause it's like blue tinted, right? There was a thought there. I always love when people have thoughts before they color their hair and don't just like do it. I think a thought, even a bad thought, just thinking, just applying ourselves, that will give you 10 times better hair than somebody who does not put any thought into their hair before dyeing it. So, cool. This off bottle, nope. Twist off tip of bottle A. Remove cap from bottle. Squeeze the entire contents of tube B. You just mix the smaller one into the bigger one. Every time with box dye. The smaller thing into the bigger thing. Shakey, shake, shake. Boom, boom, boom. Put it on your head. And that's literally it. That's all we gotta do. B into A. Then put C into A. You just put it all into the We can't quite figure out how to mix A into B, which is the scary part of this all because if we can't mix A into B and B into C and C into D and D into F and whatever, it would be D into E, not D into F. But you get my point. Then how the hell are we gonna color our hair? Tell me how we're gonna do it. <laughs> I'm also just really tired of Oh, touching up the blue. I'm not gonna like perfectly section everything. I've done it before and it's been fine. Where are we going with this? Why are we just applying it to the top? Just shoving the bottle in the hair like that? It's a lot. Mm. God forbid somebody just sections their hair once in a while. Really put some effort into getting every piece saturated nicely. You know, just once in a while, Brad would like that. Not all the time. Once in a while. As I'm filming this, I've been in the new place for three days. I genuinely love it so much. I'm probably gonna wait till that's done to give you like a tour situation. It feels like we're coloring our scalp more than we are the actual hair. Have you noticed this guy's like, she's putting it on her scalp, but not actually on the hair. That's a bit of an exaggeration, but she is. I mean, a lot of it's going on her scalp. What is gonna happen with this actually? What if it turns out really bad, dude? The cats have been, um, Something. No, they've actually been really good. My anal ass would be in there. Like, for some reason, when it comes to color or like any kind of beauty type things, I mean, this is why I do this for a living, right? Anything, painting nails, doing makeup, doing hair, I need to get everything crisp, perfect, and even, and fully done perfectly on every single nail or eye or hair. You guys know you're supposed to be saturating every piece. You guys know you're supposed to go into every section and do paper thin sections. But for some reason, we think that we can just put a squirty poo on top of the head, get it all around by just going like this. Even though you can tell the hair is dry as a f***er. Am I okay? I feel like this isn't doing anything at all. What? Okay. Stop singing. Stop singing! How is there a smudge of color right here? And there's no concern for taking it off. There's no sense of panic that we have color, permanent color on our face. I mean, maybe I just do, maybe I got out of my house more than you guys do because I would f freak out. And it's all on our hairline, everywhere. I'm using a whole bottle. Wait, what if I need another bottle? I mean, even if it just makes the blue a really, really dark blue, that would be sick. So I have high hopes. I don't care if they're delusions. Yeah, that feels like something. 
I'm not gonna lie. I am a little concerned about what the back is gonna look like. Whoa. I don't know if it's showing up on the camera, but that's a huge spot I missed. We're already seeing the spots missed. At least she's trying to get them covered before she starts processing her hair. I'm sure there's gonna be more than just that little spot at the ends. There's gonna be missing spots everywhere. Everywhere. Yo. Okay, what if I just do the on top of the head situation now? Icing on the cake. Look, when it comes out good, y'all are gonna scream and cry for even laughing at me right now. I don't know if she's pulling out box dyes from her ass or what's going on because this seems like a lot of color. Like her hair was down to here and she is still coloring her hair with more color. And that bottle still looks heavy and full. I don't know where it's all coming from, but I love it. <laughs> I love that this is definitely saturated, which is makes me really happy. <gasps> Sorry. Oh. Okay. Is it getting on the floor? Not really. <laughs> Not really. It's okay. I gotta clean it up. Oh, that just, that was my complete bad. Oh my God. Her entire neck and face are colored. Everything is colored. Uh, I'm gonna stop recording and I'm gonna clean up the bathroom and then I'm gonna rinse it and I'm back. Oh my God, when she turned her head and you saw all the color on her neck. Dude, it is literally everywhere, everywhere. She's back. How does it look in the back? I still don't know, and I won't know until I edit this. Can you see the blue? There's blue highlights in it that were obviously like not necessarily intentional because I'm not that skilled, but they're there. Kind of like a little bonus. This has been a learning experience. God damn. Um, it actually does look good. The thing is, like, I knew it was gonna look good just because, like, it's black dye. Most of her head was already black. She's just trying to cover all that blue spot. I think it looks really nice. That's a win. A win is a win. Congratulations. You did it. You don't need to use box that next time, but you did it. Definitely permanent color would've been just fine. Up next, we have a video by Last Looks. I have brown hair currently. It's pretty much my natural color, but I have some bleachy spots in the front. I've been toning out my blonde spots because uh, they don't make me feel good about myself. And recently, I have not been feeling very good about myself. Bummer, uh, but you know what always makes me feel better? Very extreme decisions with very permanent consequences. Yes, yes we do. And I totally agree with you. Nothing makes you feel more confident than a switch in the color. A change in the hair color makes you feel so fresh and so sexy. Like you can conquer the world. I love it. I love it. And that's why I make color for a living. I love a hair color. Even though I don't really change my hair color a lot anymore. Honestly, it's just because I don't Time. Whenever I'm feeling bad, I run to my best friend, Revlon, the cheapest black box dye there is to make my hair inky black because that will make me feel alive when I'm feeling a little bit down. So that is what we are going to do today and I'm gonna look so hot. Oh, I mean, am I gonna like this one? I don't know. I like brown hair, don't get me wrong. I thought that my highlights and my brown were really pretty for the summer, go a little bit lighter, but now, guess what? It's spooky season. I'm not particularly living for the current color, actually. I don't love the highlights. I think I would like a solid black color better. I think the vibe would just be all around cooler with a darker color, so I'm glad we're going this direction. I'm glad we're on the same page. So my hair hair has actually grown a ton since the last time I dyed it black and I will show it to you. Look how beautiful and long my hair is. I am the queen of hair health. No one can tell me different. No one can tell me that this is a bad idea because I know how to take care of my hair, okay? It's nothing a little color oops can't fix. I mean, her hair does look quite healthy, I must say, but it would look even more healthy with a richer color. The thing that her hair is lacking right now is vibrancy within the tone. You can always tell an at-home color job because most of the time, the colors look hollow. And what I mean by hollow is that it's lacking depth. When you see depth, you know it. You know like skin tone, deep skin tones. It's not just dark, it's rich. Different undertones, kind of in different lights, the reds come through and the oranges and the yellows. This isn't, this isn't helping my explanation, but I don't know. That's all I got for you today. I'm rubbing my last two brain cells together. And they're not working. And I will let you guys know that I did not buy these. I had these in my closet. This is, I have broken to my emergency stash. We have an emergency stash of black box dye, huh? Seems like an awful idea. I will say you 
usually if I dyed my hair black, I would replace the developer that comes in here with a 10 volume because if we're going darker, why would we need any lift? That was an interesting concept to mix with 10 vol. 10 volume actually still does lift the hair. Very, very little lift, but it does lift. So you really don't even need that. But I'm glad she's thinking. She's like, I don't need all this lifting power. I just need depositing. Unfortunately, she's not gonna do that because she doesn't have any 10 volume, so whatever, it doesn't matter. You guys know how to use box dye. You mixy mixy and the mixy mixy mix. Let's see, is she gonna start with the underneath of her hair or the top? Probably the top. All right, no turning back now. <laughs> I like to start with the roots because it makes it a lot easier to make sure that you didn't miss any spots. We started with the top. Everybody likes to start at the temple area, I've noticed. It's like the, it's the sweet spot. It's the happy place that we like to start the color. How have you guys been doing? Do you guys have a color that you always return to that like you feel like is you? Because I really feel like black hair, like pitch black hair is like me. That's like my home color. It's what I always go back to. It used to be red. I used to be a red haired girl, uh, but now it's like box dye black is where I feel at home and I'm so excited. We are getting in there though. We are getting right on that scalp. Everybody loves to color that scalp, like just really just mm, right on there. Just get all that color right in there. I had so much fun with the lightness and the highlights over the summer when I was like on my like hot beachy girl shit. Winter is on its way and this is the hair that I'm supposed to have when it's cold outside. Black hair is so mysterious. It makes everything so much more glamorous. I think black hair makes everything look more spooky and sexy. To me, blonde hair is more glamorous. So she is going around her head. She is coloring every single piece she can possibly find. And I feel like she is doing a decent job. I'm a little scared she's gonna miss spots, but that's basically what everybody does. They miss spots, so. Oh, and we're definitely coloring our face as well. We're coloring the face, just like everybody does. They should say in the box, don't forget to color your face, except they don't even need to write it because everybody will not forget to cover their face with the color as well as their hair, all right? So, yeah, mm-hmm, okay. And then we're going on the back. We always start at the top for some reason. I don't know, I will never know why, but uh, we are now coloring the back. And no, we are not starting at the root in the back. We are now starting on the ends and the mids first. At least if you're gonna do something wrong, just stick to it. Just stick to the plan, stick to the course. I do think I'm gonna have to break into this other bottle, but that is why we brought it. Empty hair dye bottle going in the garbage. We're going into the second bottle of box dye, which is great because I don't really feel like those box dyes cover anybody's entire head. I feel like it's never enough color and to really, 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 really saturate. We need that second box. Number one in the USA. Girl, that's because this box is $3. Like that is because people who are desperate run into Walmart in the middle of the night and grab it. <laughs> Holy I did not know that this box color was $3. How the f is it even possible for Revlon to make a profit? They must be losing money creating these box dyes. It must be just like a marketing thing because they are not making money. There's no way. Unless they're selling like a billion of these a year, they are not making a profit. That's insane. That's why it's number one in America, not because it's the best. Now I'm not making fun of it. Obviously like, you know, I could, I could get a $9 bottle of dye. I want the cheap one. Maybe it's not the best for your hair, but does it stick? Absolutely. Just get all, all of it out. Make sure your hair is covered. There's no point in throwing away hair dye. God, I'm making such a huge mess. I love how it's now running down her arms, it's running down her face, it's all in her hair everywhere, which is the good part, but how did we get it on our on our arms? That was the rest of the hair dye though. Let's get it all in there. Make sure all my ends are nice and saturated. Um, I'm gonna put this in my eyebrows so that they are as dark as my hair. I will be back to you guys when I am even more stunningly beautiful. Hi friends, here is my final look. Uh, I suppose that that's what I, not really what I say. Here's my black hair. Also like soft black. I was worried about the differences in the boxes. Dude, it is pitch inky black. Exactly what I wanted. Here we are. You wanna see the back. I've got my extensions in because all my extensions were black. That's like half the reason I wanted to do this is because I wanted to wear my extensions again, but I did not want to have to get buy new extensions. I love it, honestly. Like this made me feel exactly how I wanted it to make me feel. It feels wonderful. I feel beautiful. It's spooky. It's scary. And uh, I'm very glamorous. I love it. Oh my God, it's so much better than what you started with. You look alive. You look vibrant. You look sexy. It 
just gives me like emo girl. Mm, and I love emo girls. Like, mm, 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 mm. this is so good for you. This was such a good decision. I am so happy for you. Unbelievable. It is pitch black, black as black, and it looks incredible with your skin. Well, that was shocking, <laughs> actually. A lot went right and a lot went wrong, but then a lot went right at the end, so. That's good. If you want to check out any of my hair colors, by the way, you can check them all out, link below, or go to xmondohair.com. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.